Such a great day. My heart is full. I don't want him to leave. He's leaving tomorrow. Unfortunately, unless the power's still out, then I might stay for longer. I picked up my cap and gown today. Graduation is in two days. This is my very impressive friend. Jill's so funny. Hey, Jill, be funny. As we're getting into the podcast now. <laughs> so stay tuned, stay tuned. Good morning, lovely people. There's Brendan Michael. Peace. Sure, sure. Sure, sure. It is the day after Mother's Day. Brennan <clears throat> came home, pardon me, for Mother's Day to celebrate with me. We had such a great day. If you guys didn't see yesterday's vlog, please watch it. We had such a great day. My heart is full. I don't want him to leave. He's leaving tomorrow. Unfortunately, unless the power is still out, then I might stay for longer. That would be amazing. I mean, not amazing if the power is out, but amazing if he could stay for longer. Because this is the thing. He was going to go back to Tallahassee. You guys, if you don't know, there was a tornado in Tallahassee, two tornadoes, and it's been, the, the weather's been sort of ravaging ever since. Brennan is still out of power. Yeah. And he was supposed to go up for one day to work a shift and then come back for Ryan's graduation, but he might just stay all the way through. Well, we're gonna ask if the golf course is even open. If it's not open, there's no point in me going back. Right, because that's where he was gonna go up and work at the course, but I wonder if they have power. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. Okay. Where I live is the only place without it. <laughs> So All right, then. Mm. Yeah, so find out if they're open. I will. Yeah. Um, all right, so we, Mike and I have a very exciting day today. Katie's still here, by the way. Katie's visiting-ish. She's kind of half living here, half living in Maryland. But she's here still, and Ryan's in bed. But we have a very exciting day today. Mike and I are going to be guests on a podcast. And we are getting ready to go over there right now and meet with my friend, Donna. It's another day we should excel, Jill. It is, Mike. We're going to excel today if again. We leave here right now. We'll get there seven minutes early. I think that's Oh, do I have enough time to go to Starbucks? Oh, yep. Sugar. All, all right. right. Here we go. All right. So stay tuned, you guys. We'll tell you all about it. You can see what we're doing on the podcast. And you can tune in if you want to. Tune in and listen to what we have to say. It's probably nothing um, that you haven't already heard, but maybe because it's sort of a little bit of a different angle um, of what we're going to be talking about today. All right, you guys, so here we are. This is my friend Donna. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Joe. I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> thank, good, you. thank you. I was telling them earlier today about your podcast, so we'll um, we'll learn more about that and put the link and all that stuff in there so they can follow along with Brighten Up. That's perfect. It's very thank impressive. You. This is my very impressive friend. <laughs> yeah, I feel the same way about my impressive friend. She inspired me. So. Oh, my gosh. Yes. We, we go way back and have had a lot of conversations. Absolutely. Yes. I know. I know. Okay. A lot of rich, really in-depth conversations. Yeah, and, uh, that's what, she's just a great support. So, all right, watch along. We're going to go in and do this podcast. I'm so excited. I brought a bunch of paraphernalia to share with you. Oh, cool. I know it's not an audio or video video one, but it'll yeah. help. It'll help with uh, bringing everything up to light. <laughs> All right, this is what it looks like behind the scenes, everybody. Donna brought me a little gift bag, actually, for Mike and I. <laughs> open this. So sweet. Oh, a D. Okay, first of all, can I tell you that Donna's logo is a sunflower because her podcast and her whole brand is called Brighten Up, and it's about about making your sun, like a sunflower. Your, sun fa your sunflower faces the sun. And right, am I saying it correctly? Yes. And facing yes. the brighter side of life. Exactly. Right. Always, you know, sunflowers naturally turn toward the sun. And yes, I always, you know, encourage, you know, my parting words are be like the sunflower, turn your head towards the sun, and strive to live on the brighter side of life. Isn't that Which, beautiful? Me, yeah. we're in Incapatico. <laughs> we love it. We love it. Oh my goodness. Look. How sweet. Oh my goodness, a scented candle. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at so is this from your store? Um not no. I haven't really my store is not quite up and running yet. Oh, okay. It's very okay. close. So okay. we had to make some revisions and okay. modernize a few things. So I have a, a great designer working on that. Okay. Miss Jessica Jones, if you're listening, Jessica, thank you. I've reached out to Jessica too. We're gonna do work with Jessica as well. These are so beautiful. Oh, thank thank you. you so much. You guys, when Donna has her store up, we will certainly share. Sunflower, be honest, courageous, and strong. Thank you for being the sunshine in my life. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I love it. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. <laughs> oh, there are that's two. That's one for Mike, of course. Oh, you fantastic. Know. Very nice. Thank you. You gotta keep him. Yes, absolutely. Keep him happy. And these are sunflower soaps. 
can never smell too sunny. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and sunflower pads. Yes. I love the theming and even the tissue paper of sunflower and a little card. Donnie, you're so sweet. Oh, no. I, I so appreciate oh, you guys being here. And uh, Adorbs. they are like the best, you know, the, the best family and <laughs> oh, so sweet. much fun, so full of wisdom and, and life and oh, we try we honest. try we're, we're still learning we'll put it that way we're the messiness learning. of life yes you guys, right you know. but you know what you embrace the messiness bring it on right exactly if you can bring it on if you if you have that attitude then you can face anything if you go through life not expecting that nothing's going to you know get in your way that's when disappointments happen so right yeah right, right. you have to anticipate it 100%. yeah yeah and be ready to roll with it when it happens Right, yeah. right. Oh, the difference between uh, an ordeal and a uh, adventure is your attitude. <laughs> That's exactly right. Dude. Words of wisdom. You need to copyright that. And just, that is that is so true. It's just you know, what color glasses do you have on? Yeah, exactly. So, and how are we going to turn this into something awesome? A, a yeah. great story to tell. That's how we. It took us a while to figure that out. Anyway, you guys, we're getting into the podcast now. <laughs> so stay tuned, stay tuned. We're going to cut this off now, but we will, um, well, you can watch, but we're going to definitely link the podcast to this video so you guys can see. I'm so excited. Thank you, Donna. Thank you. Thank you so much, Oh, my gosh. Thank you for coming. Yes. We had such a good time, yes, you guys. We, we, we talked for about an hour and 15 minutes. It's <laughs> awesome. So we will um, share with you all the other things. Yes. All right. Absolutely. Mwah. Safe travels. Thank so you. So nice to finally see you in person, Mike. <laughs> you <too. laughs> Exactly. Right. Rather than across the church, right? Exactly. <laughs> all right, bye, exactly. Donna. Thanks all right, for everything. Have a good day, Bye-bye. All right. You too. It was quite a crazy day yesterday after we did the interview, Katie and Mike and I flew to Maryland because I had to start my work and Kate's getting back to her friends and Mike um, was doing a lot of work around the house. Actually, we have, we mow the lawn, do some lawn work. Anyway, so we're back. And then um, I flew. So today I flew three legs. I started out in Baltimore and then I flew to, to, Orlando, and then back to Baltimore, and then now to Charleston, South Carolina. My hair is a little messy, um, but we are in Charleston, South Carolina now, and we were like three hours delayed. So I was planning on maybe like walking around and getting to see Charleston a little bit, but it's quite late, and we have an early um, lobby time tomorrow. Not early, as early as I normally do, but tomorrow morning we lobby at 6.50, which means I have to wake up at 5.50 in, in turn to get ready at 6.50. So I'm going to be here and then I work tomorrow another day and then the next day is Ryan's graduation, which I'm so very excited about. Um, Brennan... <laughs> Brennan's story, holy cow. Brennan was supposed to go back to Tallahassee because he's working in Tallahassee. Well, remember we told you a couple videos ago about some tornadoes in Tallahassee? Well, they had literally like two days off, like some rain and wind or whatever, and then they got hit by a tornado again. Um, yesterday, was it yesterday? I can't remember if it was yesterday or the day before. So instead of him going back to Tallahassee and working um, since all the places are closed and there's no power, he still hasn't had power since the first tornado, which was like literally four or five days ago. So he is staying at home with Ryan and Dan and Pap came back. So they're all together. Maybe I'll see if I can get a vlog out of them. And um, so he's going to stay through Ryan's graduation. So we've been busily trying to figure out what we're going to do for Ryan's graduation as well. We are going to have a party in Maryland, but not until later. But we're going to go out to dinner with Anna and Pap and everything. Anyway, I'm telling you sort of all these plans. So this is some stuff you can look forward to as we move forward. Um, but in the meantime, I had a great flight today. A great um a great crew so fun we've been on an 800 which is the size of an airplane which means we have four flight attendants so i am up front with another flight attendant i'm a so i've been doing all the announcements so fun so this is what's okay let me tell you guys this, this is so funny so if you've ever flown southwest southwest is known to have like comedic flight attendants right like funny flight attendants i wasn't allowed to do any funny stuff new stuff um until after probation so of course i'm beyond probation now and so now i can start to incorporate some funny stuff into my announcements well i have to say that it's been i'm a little nervous to do it number one because i know the announcements by heart 
and if I ever stray from them, I get all mixed up. So I don't know where I am. So I've tried to throw a few like random things in and then I get all mixed up. So the flight attendant that I'm flying with today um, and tomorrow, so he's up front with me and I'm flying and I'm doing all the announcements, but he has, he does it, he does funny announcements. And I only know that because every once in a while I'll say something like on the announcement and he'll add a little to it, like in my ear, but they can't hear it out there. And I start to laugh because it's funny. And then I want to incorporate it. And then I forget where I am. I'm like, all right, whatever. So I'm making a list of like all the sort of funny things he says. My problem is this, when I was growing up, like my mom always thought I was really funny. Like I'm kind of funny sometimes. Like I, I get that. But my humor comes from like sort of bouncing off other people and comes up from like having a conversation and being able to come up with funny things to say situationally, right? <laughs> Growing up, my mom would be like, she'd be talking to me, like, Jill's so funny. Hey, Jill, be funny. So she'd usually tell me like, as if I'm going to just like stand up and just rattle off this some type of like, I don't know, stand up comedy thing. It was not my thing. So I'm a little nervous about the announcements and trying to be funny on the announcements because I'm not really bouncing off except for there are people who passengers but we're not having a conversation so I'm gonna try it a little bit I tried a little bit today so if you guys see me and I'm your flight attendant and I'm trying to be funny please laugh if I'm not that funny let me know and if I'm not being funny at all like if I'm not throwing funny stuff in that means I'm a little bit nervous and I'm just trying to be straight up so anyway this is sort of the evolution of my flight attendant career so I'm gonna try to be funny I'm not exactly sure how far like not that I want to take it far but like you know I don't want to get in trouble not that I would say anything that would get me in trouble so but it but like I was today we flew to Orlando and Kate's like, mom, you should play Star Wars music. Like when you're taking off, the airplane's taking off. Well, that's like a critical phase of flight when you're taking off and critical phase of flight means like, it's like, you know, where you sort of have to be really honed in on what's going on and you know what your emergency procedures are just in case. So I don't know that I'm actually allowed to put music up onto the PA during that time, but I don't know. I don't know. So we'll see. I'm not sure. I, I, I'll ask about that. <laughs> Get a little permission. Yeah. So anyway, so that's what I'm doing now. I am going to change my clothes. I am going to get into bed, do a little bit of editing and have some dinner and snooze away. So hopefully you'll get some vlog from the other family members and what they are doing. I'll call them right now and ask them to check in. Love you guys. What's up family? Uh, I'm just checking in, just telling y'all what I'm doing. I'm at a grad party right now and the theme is to all wear college shirts. So I'm rocking my bowls. Uh, everyone here is rocking. Ethan's got the UT, Trevor's got the FSU. Uh, absolutely fun party. Last, la uh, last night's party was another graduation party and it was disco themed. I'm sure we can put in some pictures. It was absolutely fantastic. I was rocking the whole fit. Same shirt I wore to the Outer Banks disco theme too, if you'll remember that. Anywho, I just wanted to check in with you guys and say happy graduation season. What's what up, up? Go Bucks! Wise well, is Buckeye. He's a junior, but he he's probably going to Ohio State. He's probably going to we'll the see, Ohio. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um. Anywho, I picked up my cap and gown today. Graduation is in two days, and I'm super pumped. And I'll see you guys there. Peace. All right, you guys, I'm getting ready to take off here from Charleston. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. When I get home, we're going to wrap everybody up and fly back to. Florida for graduation. So thanks so much for watching. Comment down below what made you guys happy. What made me happy is being with my kids all the time. Take care, you guys. Bye.